you can see we have uh, 2 power x plus 2 power x is equal to 1. So how do we get to find the value of x in this case? So the most important thing must be to check this side. Do we have the similar terms? Yes. So this is the same as this. So meaning these two can be added. And when we add them, how many are they? They are two. So it will be two. Okay? So two times. Okay? What we have, the terms that we have right here, which will be equal to a one. So if you want, we can write a times here. Or if you want, we can just put a dot. We know that this means times. So once we do that, we now divide by a 2, both sides. Okay? So this and this will cancel or will go. We shall remain with what? We shall remain with the 2 power x is equal to 1 over a 2, which looks very easy to solve. So now the final stage of this would just be to now use apply the laws of indices whereby this denominator becomes a numerator and then the power becomes a, a negative uh, a negative uh, negative power power negative one because the laws of indices says that uh, if you have a denominator here when it becomes a numerator the power must be a negative power and this is how it uh, we've done here so from this stage we can say x is equal to negative 1 by simply applying the laws of indices. Same basis, you can see, we equate the powers. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are watching this for the first time and you have not yet done so. To the people who have subscribed already, I'm saying thank you. Thank you so much. Keep on supporting this channel. And bye-bye.